All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, real quick uh, cut in there because my doctor was calling, so I need to take that call. Okay, so anyways, we've removed the plates. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Now, look, HDLRC's already done this part, okay? They've already hooked this part up, all right? And so what we wanna do now, and I did this on the last one too, is we might as well go ahead and uh, get uh, some telemetry going with this as well. And so I need to see, let me go ahead, I'm gonna plug this into Betaflight now, and I'll show you the screen, and I'm gonna pull the CLI on this. So let me, um, let me change, I've got OpenTX open right now because, uh, so let me do this there. Okay, and then let's open Betaflight. All right, now, now that it's open, I can go ahead and share the screen here. So let's do this, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this squad in real quick. do now is I'm just going to go ahead and connect and I'm going to go to my CLI and I'm going to type the command dump so that I can get the files here so let me do that so first I'm going to type version I want to know what we've got so this is the 4.1.4 um, okay and I'm going to type dump. all right and there it is so that's everything that I want to see now I'm going to take this and I'm going to take everything here and I'm going to uh, copy from here so we're going to copy and then we're going to save this um, and what I'll do is I'll just save it here to a new file file new and then we're going to click paste and we're going to click file and then we'll click save as and this is going to be for the customer as well so we'll save as and we'll go to our uh, uh, let's see customer uh, no let's just go to vendors which is right here and then we're gonna to go to HDLRC. And then we're gonna to go to the sector. Sorry, I know you guys don't need to see this part, but I mean, it's just, I'm doing it right now. And then I'm gonna call this uh, 4S edition, which is fine. And then I'm gonna make a new folder here and we're gonna call this the um, data flight uh, um, defaults. Okay, and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna call this sector five dash 4s dash beta flight dash dump file. Okay, dot txt. Save that there. All right, great. So now I can send that to you guys if anybody needs it. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to disconnect and I'm going to go back um, to connect again. And we're going to look at the ports here. So we know the port UART2 uh, is going to be for our S bus. And uh, they have um, smart audio on UART3. So we can use anything we want here. Um, I'm gonna see what's available. Uh, I'm sure UART 6 is pretty readily available as well. All right, so let's find that. And to do that, I'm gonna need uh, old man glasses because I cannot see very well with just these. So let's see what we got. All right, so now, um, what I do see available here is I've got uh, RX6 right here, okay. And uh, I need the TX actually, so let me see. I don't believe that's gonna be TX6 right there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set this up to use telemetry on TX6. I believe that should work. And then we're gonna change some settings in the receiver. Uh, hopefully this should function without any issue. But, but then again, but then again um, we could use TX1 and incorporate um, uh, see how do I want to do this hmm I may want to use we're gonna see we're gonna test this out real quick okay all right so because this may actually have a problem and so let me see how I want to do this so let me just uh, let's go ahead and do this here it's my goofy glasses hello okay Let's get our soldering iron on. We'll try six first. If not, we could do one if we want to um, because it's not using one. So let's do that. All right, this is turning on. So I gotta be really quick here. And let's go ahead and clean this up. And we'll get some solder ready and we should be good to go. And then we've got our 
receiver here. And remember, if you watch the video on this receiver, I told you that um, you will use, there are some select wires to use on this receiver, and there are wires you will not use. And we're gonna make sure that you understand which one's which. And we're gonna try to see if we can get some telemetry working with this before we get really into this, okay? So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is let's clean off the tip of the soldering iron. Make it nice and shiny. There it is. Let's get some solder out. Actually, I thought I had some already. I do. I don't want to waste any, so I'm just going to use this here. And we're going to go to TX6 right here. Okay. That's all we need. Now we need to find the wires that we want. And I think for that, I'm just going to use these here. And we are not going to use the S bus uh, in, so I'm going to remove the white wire completely. Okay. That's out. And I am going to decide that I think we'll put the uh, receiver here. Or let me see how I would like to do that. Yeah, we'll put the receiver on the top here underneath the top plate. Uh, so the wire length to that is going to be pretty minimal. I'll leave it like that, let's say. So let's go ahead. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave these. I don't really feel like cutting these um, because it's not that much of a difference, and I'll just fold them in if I need to. So let's go ahead and start mounting this, or let's start soldering this up. Okay, let me make sure that's good. Okay, let's zoom in just a little bit on there. Okay, so remember now, guys, uh, so obviously your red is going to be your, so we're going to put that to your positive. Uh, now, they've already put the wires here, but I don't, I can't use these, so let me just get those black here. So if you're concerned about forgetting how this goes, just remove the wire as you put on the new one. So we're going to go ahead and put black, where black was. with the way this is coming out. I need to put my solder on that board. So let me do that real quick. There. That's better. Okay. Put red where red was, obviously. Okay. Just kidding. This is where you put green where yellow was, and this is the biggest mistake people make, is that they put the yellow and they try to match these, but that's actually incorrect. Okay, the yellow is your S port, but not your S bus, okay? So if you do that, you won't get any signal. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. Okay, there we go, on TX6. All right, that should do it for us. Now, we're gonna make sure that we get telemetry here before I close this up. So let me do that. And at the same time, I am also going to disconnect the VTX because I do know that it will interfere with my channel right now as we're doing this. So let me go ahead and just gently pull that plug out. And I will reconnect it before we ship this out, okay? So there we go. All right, that being said, looks like everything is good here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to take the RXSR that we had, which is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and place this in a, um, I'm just going to vacuum it, or put it in a heat shrink, okay, so let me do that. in there we go okay 
It's a little bit big of a heat shrink, but I don't really have anything smaller. And I know the quality of this one's gonna allow it to shrink pretty good. So let me just go ahead and knock this out. There we go. Just kind of that you know, pinch there to close it up. All right. So without doing much else, now it's going to be time to apply power and see if we are good to go on this. So I'm going to go ahead, plug in the USB, and I'm going to let you guys watch what we're doing. So you watch Beta Flight. So we're going to watch Beta Flight there, and we're going to see. And I'm going to get the radio. And I'm going to get power. Now I've got a smoke stopper. So don't forget, guys. Um, let me just show you this. So if you don't have a spoke stopper, we sell these online. These are very important. I use these all the time when I do a build. So please, by all means, make sure to try to use a spoke stopper, okay? So, so there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get our radio turned on. All right, let me show you that. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, throttle warning, gotcha. Okay, okay. And so now what we want to do is um, let's go ahead and throw our beta flight back up and go like this. Okay. So first thing is we're going to connect and we're going to tell it that in our ports uh, that we are going to be running our uh, S port smart port on UART6. So click save and reboot. Okay. When it connects back, let's go ahead and reset. Let's go to ports again. So we have port six is smart port. We have our um, smart audio here. And so now we're gonna to go to receiver and we're probably gonna see this thing, there it is. Everything looks good for the most part. Uh, we want to adjust a few things here. Um, and so this is what I want you to pay attention to. So the first thing you need to realize is that um, our minimums and our maximums are off and our center is off on the roll, okay? So watch, all right? All right, so what we wanna do is when you, when you have that problem, um, I'm going to actually switch the screens around now and I'm gonna do it like this, okay? And I'm just gonna to try to show you guys as best I can. Uh, I think if I do a side-by-side, -side, this actually gets pretty messy, but let me see if there's some other option. Uh, I don't think I can do that. So let me do a split screen, see if this will work. I don't know if that's gonna be, no, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm just gonna do none, and we'll do picture in picture. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna try to keep it like that and see if this is gonna work a little bit. Okay, so what I want you to see is <clears throat> we need to get our, um, our, our values right, okay? And so our mins and maxes would be nice to have correct. So to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, hold your button here to the right. Sorry, yeah, and then you're gonna, once you get to the menu screen, the model screen, just keep tapping to the right until you get to your outputs. Okay, once you get to your outputs, go down and take your first one here, right? And so your first channel is going to be, uh, let me show you where we're at. So you will have um, your uh, roll on your first channel, right? So you're going to hit, if your roll is, it goes to 987, it needs to just go to 1000. So you're gonna press your enter button, you're gonna click edit, and you could type roll here if you want. Uh, probably not a bad idea to um, uh, do that just so you have uh, I don't know, reference, I guess. Okay, and then let's do that again. Okay, so there we go. Now, we know that the minimum is too, uh, too low. It needs to go to 1,000. So we're going to go to our minimum option here, okay? And we're going to click this. And you're going to see it blinking. Let me see if I can move this over just enough so I can get this there. Okay, you see how it's blinking? Okay, so... When we hold this down, you see how it says 988 there? So we want it to read 1,000. So as you're holding that down to your minimum, scroll up to 1,000, all right? Now, you want, to you want this to work with your beta flight screen. So let me show you what I'm seeing on my end, okay? So here, let's swap screens a minute. Now, when I hold this all the way down, you see how beta flight says 1,000 now? That's perfect, right? Now, what I wanna do is I wanna to go to the um, uh, I need to click enter because it's done. So now I want to go to my maximum. You see my maximum says 2011? Yeah, that's too high. 
So I'm gonna hit the enter button again, and while holding this up, I'm gonna actually press that uh, joystick down until I get to 2000, okay? And there we go. And then I'm gonna hit enter again, and it's sitting at 1500, so we're now good. Minimum is 1000, maximum is 2000, and center is 1500. Perfect, okay? So now what you do is, let's flip these back. So now what you do is you're gonna hit the exit button, and you're gonna go down one, all right? And so now you're gonna to go to your pitch, all right? <clears throat> and uh, so that's gonna be, uh, we're gonna hit enter again, because again, we have the same problem, and we can type pitch here. All right, let me see, P. I, I, I'm gonna start saving these models though, so I don't have to do this all the time, but I think that these tutorials will probably be pretty good. So let me go to T, C, Oh, I can't do it, so let me just do PA. No, I'll just leave it like that, okay? Now, minimum again, uh, sorry, is 990. So we wanna go ahead and go to the minimum, hit it, so it's blinking, hold this at its minimum, and start going up. Okay, and we need to wait till it reaches 1,000. Okay, and it did. I'm watching the beta flight screen, and it did, so I hit enter to stop it. Now I'm gonna go to the maximum, take it to the maximum, and hold it down till it reaches 2,000. Okay, and that's good. I hit that and it's done. Now we can exit out and we're gonna to go to channel three. Okay, and that's gonna be our throttle. So we can name that uh, throttle. So T, I guess we'll just put THR. Okay, and that's it. Now let's go down and see our throttle needs to be at 1,000. So we don't have to move the stick on that one. It's already at low, so we're just gonna go ahead and click the minimum and click the joystick up till we read 1,000 on beta flight. And then we're gonna go to our maximum, put this all the way up, and we're gonna click, and we're gonna bring that down till it hits 2,000, okay? Excellent, all right? So now we're done with throttle, and the last one is going to be our yaw. So here we go, and so let's exit, and then we're gonna go down to channel four, we're gonna edit and we're gonna call that yaw. So let's just hold this button down until it renames it to yaw. Oops. Yaw, okay, now on our minimum, 987. Whoops, that's our subtrain. Let's go to our minimum. I'm gonna raise that up. Our maximum. that down to 2000 there you go okay so now you're done so if you look at the screen now I'll swap these look at that okay so everywhere we've got 1000 2000 okay so and that just depends on how you hold it but you're good to go all right so everything was good and most of all are centered and then you can see the reactions from our our switches so now we're just going to set up our modes Okay, so let's go to modes and we're gonna delete uh, what they have here and I'm gonna set these modes up per what I would do. You can go always go back and set it. You'll have the CLI, so I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna go to my configuration real quick. I wanna make sure I wanna see what they have set here. So I'm gonna take anti-gravity off. Okay, I'm gonna click save. All right, I'm gonna click connect. I'm gonna go to modes. Now we're gonna set our arm mode. So we're gonna flip that arm switch and we're gonna extend this, okay? And so that's our arm switch. That means if it's in middle or top position, it's gonna be armed. If it's down, it's off. Uh, we're gonna click horizon, and we're gonna add that as a mode. So we're gonna flip our three-way switch on this side, and horizon will be, if the switch is all the way to the top, we're in horizon mode. And then what we wanna do is we have our fail safe, and we're gonna add that range, and that's our bottom right here. So if that's on, it's on, uh, fail safe. And then we're gonna have our uh, beeper, so we're gonna add a range for that, and that's our bottom left button, and if that's on, up, it's on. I'm gonna drag that there. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add our air mode range. So 
it's always going to be an acro uh, if it's not in horizon but we're going to do acro and acro with air so we're going to flip the mode button and again if it's in the middle that will be acro with air if it's in the bottom it's just acro if it's in the top it's horizon mode and that is all our modes okay so now what we're going to do is turn everything off okay that's our buzzer listen okay and that's running through the d shot and this is our fail safe okay and this will be our arm so now if i go to motors I go to motors, sorry, right here. And I do this here, okay? And I make sure that my stuff is calibrated properly, right? And I wanna make sure that we're all set, okay? So under modes, we have our arm right there. All right, everything else looks good. Okay, so that pretty much does it for us, right? So now what we wanna do is we'll go to our setup and see what we've got left here. And what we wanna do is we wanna to try to get our, um, uh, we want to try to get, uh, let me go to motors again. I want to see something here. So I'm going to go to my receiver real quick because there is one thing that I do change here. I do want this range to be 1,005. I don't think it should be so big as 1,050 and I want this to be 2,000. Okay, so two, one, two, three, save. Okay. And that would work perfect. And if we go to our motors. All right, so this is pretty much done. The last thing I want to do now is uh, where do I take off prevention temporarily? Okay, fine. So what I want to do now is I want to see if I can get telemetry going, right? So um, first thing is I want to go to uh, here and I'm going to hold it to the left. No, sorry. I think I'm actually going to go to the right and then I'm going to go to the left here. So once I hold it to the right, I'm going to see my, and let me switch this here. Let me switch so you can watch this. Okay, so let me move the quad a little bit. And on this controller, right? So if you're at the main screen, okay, if you hold to the right, you get to your model menu. And now the telemetry is like one of the last menus here. So I'm just gonna to go to the left. One, two, there's my telemetry, okay? So I'm gonna tell it to discover new sensor. So I'm gonna click that. And now it's gonna start discovering, okay? Now, what I need to do here is while it's discovering, I need to go to my configuration. I need to make sure telemetry is on, okay? And right now it's not, so I'm gonna click on. And I'm gonna click save and reboot, okay? Now once it reboots, look at all my telemetry. It's all right here, okay? So we have our telemetry running. We can see our, our amps. We can see our, we were looking for our, um, our battery here. So what you're going to be looking for here is VFAS. And there it is right there, 17 volts. So we have full telemetry now with the RXSR running on TX6. Okay. So now we don't have to keep discovering anymore. All right. So we're going to say stop discovery. All right. And now what we can do is we can set up our, um, our display. So screen one. Uh, let's go ahead and do screen one and we're going to do we could do numbers okay oops let's do screen one numbers and then we're going to pick oh i don't know let's do vfast if i can find it here it's going to take a little bit of time hope i didn't pass it up already be my luck that i did oh no there it is okay so let's do vfast right there that's our battery and then we can also do an rssi if we want there it is. Okay, RSSI. There it goes. Okay. So now here's how, how here's how that's gonna look. So this is your main screen, right? But if whoops, if you go up, I think. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Maybe if I go down. Okay, how about left? No. And right, no, up. Where's my screen? Hold on. I want to make this work, so let me. Trim center. Oh, that's not it. Oh, where's my screen? I think I said it. All right, let me see what I've done here. I'm missing something, and it's probably because I'm just not used to this radio so let me go back screen one okay so there it is so I would think that we would see this Oops. Nope. oh there it is okay so here's my stats right here okay and what you can do is you can oh, that's not it either
Oh, there, my God, there it is. All it was was holding the down button. I apologize, guys. I mean, I'm, I have not used the X Lite in a long time. So to get on the screen now with those, you just hold this down, and there it is. I have my VFast, my battery, and I have my RSSI, okay? So obviously we can calibrate the RSSI, but so far this is excellent. This is exactly what I wanted to see. And so you can monitor like that. And that's the benefit about having telemetry come through is that now you can tell the radio, okay, if um, I'm flying line of sight, for example, and I want the radio to tell me if my battery's getting low, I can tell it. Automatically tell me through switching, through switches and programs, hey, tell me if I'm low, okay? So looks like we're good. Now the last test is gonna be, I'm gonna disconnect this from beta flight. Uh, actually, I'm gonna connect and I'm gonna download. I'm gonna go to my CLI. And I'm gonna say, I want this to do another dump, but this is gonna be a dump. Uh, so I can say this for, the, for this particular customer. All right, and this will be all the changes that we made. Okay, so it'll be right here. I click copy. I know you can't see, oh yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Let me just, let me minimize this now. Okay, so there we go. Sensor lost. And let's go to here and click file, a new, and we're gonna click paste, and then file, and then save as. And then we'll type this one, and then we'll just do customer. Um, there, and that'll be his personal one. So now we can close that. Okay, so, uh, no, I didn't mean to click the flight one. Okay, so let's go back now and click disconnect. And we're gonna connect. Okay, and we're gonna reset, calibrate. Everything's looking good here, so now, uh, what we can do is we can disconnect this and remove it and remove it from here and it's just time to Telemetry mount. Lost. Yes, I know. Now it's time to mount the uh, receiver and that's what we're going to do. And so let's go ahead and knock that out. All right. So with everything done, um, I'm going to now try to feed these up here. This is interesting and not easy to get too fit. Let's see though. Again, I can't tell if this is even going to go in there. It looks from the print that it's not printed with the opening, but I gotta see if I can see any light at all in that. And I can't. Darn it. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's unscrew this. some stuff out of the way there. Bring that back. Let's try this side. All right, there we go. Now, let's see if we can make this work. Okay, so.
this side at least. Nope. I had enough of that. So if I can't, cannot get these holes are not open wide enough to get this. Um, I'm trying to change that, but it's really a pain because these are really thin. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that or not. Let's see. Okay. Now let's try this again. Got to really widen that area. I think that's going to work. Oops. Okay, now let's see if we can do the other side the same way. Just really widen that. All right. You know, this is irritating beyond all. The printing here is just not, it's kind of subpar, I guess. And so trying to get anything to work on this thing is going to be a total pain in the ass as far as getting this antenna through. I'm going to try one more time, and then after that, I'm just going to go around it. I cannot sit here and risk, I don't want to risk the antenna. I definitely got a million things to be doing right now, so... Get it there now. Hmm. There's one. Now I gotta get back the one that I originally had in there. It decided to bail, so let's see if I can get. My lord. go little pain in the butt all right so now let's go ahead put this back down just like that
All right. So what we want to do now, we want to find our mounting area. It should be easy. Okay. Put our cap on here. Do the same thing here. And we will get our plate here. And we will put this right here. Get some double sided tape. I did not turn the blue button on, but I probably should, so we can do that. Okay, get some double sided tape here. While that's being done, we can go ahead down, put the VTX back on. Actually, I'm going to power this up first and make sure that it spins up without any issues. So let's do that. Okay. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Oh, you know what? I'm so stupid. I forgot they have that these are not. To, lost. I forgot that they have these are not to spin up. I'm on it. I want to change that real quickly. Let's go to connect. I keep forgetting that configuration. And then, uh, sorry, we're gonna leave that. I'm gonna change this to seven and click save. Hey. Hey, baby. Sorry, I'm just about done. Okay. Cool. Why? What's up? Everything okay? Yeah, I just I've got orders, but I don't want to run the tape machine and everything. Okay. Train yeah, no, I'm about done. Okay. There we go. Runs perfect. Hit the fail safe. Perfect. Okay. So all that is great. Okay, I'm very happy with that. So we're Receiver gonna power this off. Receiver still connected. Hey, this is a good test. Let's go ahead. We're gonna power this off. Receiver still connected. I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and power off. And there's your simulation if you lose signal. So that's good. Excellent. Okay, so now we are waiting for our heat, our gun to heat up here. Looks like it's hot enough. Let's go ahead and peel this off. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of accelerate it a little bit. Oops, get that on. I'm just going to heat up the area here. Get this to melt, to melt kind of quickly. See, we're right on there like that, and we are good to go. And there you go. Okay, everything else is good and done. Oh, that's right. I need to hook up the. Need to put the uh, VTX back on. So let me just do that real quick. There you go.
and one screw that drop which is right here. And that's it. Let's get this done. All right, guys. So there you go. Um, that is one complete job right there. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right here to keep those antenna wires in place so that they don't get pulled out. And the rest of the system is set up and perfect. Okay. Very excited to see this. Uh, so let me just um, say thank you to my customer for ordering this and for ordering your radio and so forth. Uh, I'm excited to send this to you guys. Um, and uh, so I'm going to box this up right now and get it out to you. And if you have any questions, guys, y'all can always email me or use the contact page, please. Again, go to our website and use that. That way I can create a ticket and I know I can write you back. And then as always, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and help support us. It would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, uh, thanks. God bless you. all be safe. Enjoy your time at home. Spend time with your family. You don't know how long you have. So make the most of it with them, please. And uh, say fine when you do get a chance, all right? Other than that, guys, peace. See you later.